Hello, I'm Lael Catherine Keene. And I'm Russell Jones, and we're both faculty members of the Somatic Experiencing Trauma Institute and the Brazilian Trauma Association. We're here today to share with you a short exercise or practice for connection and co-regulation. In this challenging moment in our lives and in our world, there's a lot of fear and worry going on, and there's which can be infectious or contagious, and there's also a lot of possibility for connection, and it's through connection that we work through the fear. So that so the practice that we're going to offer you has three parts. It can be done with a partner who is physically present with you or it can be done virtually. And in the first part, you simply turn towards each other and you gaze at each other and you will, you will maintain eye contact for a minimum of 30 seconds. And when we are able to maintain eye contact for around 30 seconds or perhaps a little more, it facilitates the release of oxytocin in our, into our system, which is a hormone which helps and supports connection. And as you Feel this connection with your partner, you may notice that there are some shifts in your body. You may notice that you feel your breath release or your shoulders drop or a sense of expansion. Sensations that have to do with a positive emotion of bonding and connection with your partner. And then as we maintain the connection between us and the connection with ourselves and with our own body, we can move into the second part of the exercise, which is to find a memory of an experience that was very satisfying, very pleasurable, very empowering in your life. Perhaps it's an experience that involves your partner, but it also could be an individual experience. So at this moment, you would either stop the video or you can do it later and share that experience between you and as you share notice what happens in your physical body at this moment as you're sharing that experience. And any pleasurable sensations that emerge as you connect with this memory of goodness and of pleasure, any pleasurable sensations that emerge, notice how it is that your body responds to these pleasurable sensations. How do they reverberate and spread throughout your body? Because the more you pay attention to the sensations of goodness and pleasure, the more they will increase and the more they will bring you into a deeper state of connection with your partner. And the third part of the exercise relates to our expectations for this moment in our life, in our world around us. It's very easy to get focused on the negative and there's certainly lots of negative uh, possibilities and things that are being coming up and played up and uh, offered to us at this moment and we have a negative bias which protects us and at the same time we can choose to focus on the best case scenario the positive result that we're looking for what might that look like what might that feel like to us individually to our family and community and to the overall world so as you stay in contact with these sensations of comfort and ease that come from the connection with your partner, we invite you to let yourself imagine what could be the best thing that could emerge from this scenario that we are living. And to share that with your partner and each one of you to come up with one action, something you can do today to help this best case scenario to come to be. And then notice what happens as you think of that, as you plan that, as you put that in your intention and attention. Attention is our greatest power. We thank you for this time and we hope that this practice has been useful for you. Please feel free to share it and adapt it in any way that you would like to. Thank you.